Hey guys, it's a magic crafter. As you know or don't know, I'm a professional mermaid and a fairy and I do a lot of my shoots in the winter, a lot of my videos in the winter because winter takes up six months out of the year here in Northern Michigan. So I make the most of what I have. That being said, I get a lot of questions all the time about how I manage to take photos and videos out in this kind of weather without freezing to death. Now, if you haven't already seen my video on how to stay warm as a goth, I will link that below if you would like to know more about the fashion side of stuff. But if you would like to know about how to stay warm as a model or as a performer in this kind of weather, I'm going to share some of my tips with you. Now, obviously be safe and be smart before you do any of these, but yeah, this is just some tips. Like, if you die, it's not my fault. First, common sense and safety are best. If there are warnings that there's a blizzard or something and conditions are really dangerous, I don't care if you have a photography shoot scheduled or if you're taking your own photos or videos, you probably shouldn't go out in negative 30 degree weather. Be safe, that's my first tip for you. <laughs> My second tip I have for you if you are planning to model or do any performances in this type of weather is if you can and you are able to dress wintry, <laughs> wear layers. Um, this is a pretty cute jacket. I got it from Punk Grave. They are not sponsoring this video, although they have sponsored videos in the past. But you can get cute jackets from different places and kind of just wear that over layers if you are able to, of course, shoot like a winter shoot. Just wear something cute warm layers underneath. You can wear some shapewear underneath to help um, reduce the size of things and also hold in body heat. You can get thermal socks and thermal pants and thermal shirts. You can also wear thermal shirts underneath other type of shirts. You can wear tights with your thermal socks. You can wear thigh high boots with both of those. Just layer up. Today I'm wearing two shirts, a gorgeous winter jacket, a wig to keep my head warm, I am wearing these ripped gloves because they're old and that's what they have. <laughs> wearing thigh high boots, two pairs of socks, sweatpants, and a winter skirt, which is also helping to keep me warm. Other suggestions are a scarf. You can use a face mask. If you're a goth, they have some gothic masks that you can use that are really cool. And I have one that I wear when I don't wear my glasses because it steams up my glasses. But yeah, dress in layers if you can. If you can't and you are modeling and doing something that requires you to expose more skin and you can't be bulky or dress in layers, what I suggest is to bring your warm clothes with you, but warm clothes that are easy to change out of. For example, I have a really awesome pair of winter boots that I wear. I think they have like a negative 30 degree or negative 20 degree tolerance or whatever snowplow over there and I can wear them when it's really cold out they're easy to slip my feet into and actually my video where I was walking on top of the snow as a fairy barefoot the part that was off camera was the fact that I had boots right next to my camera setup so as soon as I got done walking on that freezing cold snow I could slip my feet into something warm and cozy so I didn't get frostbite I will link the pair of boots that I use in the description box below. They are a little pricey, but they are definitely worth the price. You can also wear a warm jacket. Pick a long one if you can, and one with a hood because that will help keep your head warm. And also the longer the jacket, the more parts of your body that will stay warm. I have a really long beaten up old one that I take. I wear it before I go out on the ice, I wear it before shoots, I wear it in between shoots. It's really helpful just have some easy to slip on things that are warm that you can get into after your shoot and before your shoot and in between photo shoots and video sessions. The next tip I have for you is one I'm making use of right now and that is to take hand warmers with you. These are lifesavers. You can stick hand warmers in your pockets. If you are wearing a jacket or something that has pockets, you can stick them in your boots, which I'm doing right now to help keep your toes warm because we all know when your toes are warm, you feel much better about life. Uh, you can carry them in your purse, just hide them somewhere off set so you can just like, you know, scurry on over there and grab your warm things whatever hand warmers are a lifesaver and if you are doing a photo shoot or video shoot outside you will want to have them either in your clothing or really nearby because they are going to help keep you from feeling really frozen a tip that i have for you is one that i do on a daily basis whether it's hot or cold but that is to drink some warm water or a warm liquid of some sort i drink hot water on the regular like i will put it in the microwave <laughs> 
<laughs> warm it up and drink it throughout the day. If you're outside, obviously you don't have access to a microwave. So what you can do is buy a very good mug that insulates, and by mug I mean like a tumbler thing with a lid on it and everything. I know Yeti is a great brand. I will link Yeti mugs below. They're a little expensive, but I heard they work really well. I personally usually am close to my house, so I'll just like go home and then chug hot water when I'm done. But that can help warm you up when you are modeling outside or doing anything outside that requires you not to freeze to death. The sixth and final tip that I have for you here today is to take a hot shower when you're done because nothing warms the body better and feels more pleasant after a cold day than a hot shower. Obviously, if you're really, really cold, you don't want to jump right into hot water because that can be painful. We've all done that before. Uh, but just, you know, warm yourself up, treat yourself, bundle up with a warm blanket, get some hot cocoa, hot water, whatever. Sip on that, just bundle up and be warm and be happy that the day is over. Those are my five tips for you on how to stay warm when you're doing a photo shoot or a video session outside in a cold area such as this beautiful area. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will find it to be helpful. Be sure to share your tips down below for anyone else who may need them. And feel free to tag me in your photos on Instagram at the underscore magic underscore crafter. It's a really awkward video because there are people around listening to me talk, so I'm gonna go now. Sorry for the awkwardness. You guys have a fabulous day, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.